From the Mementos of the English Martyrs and Confessors for Every Day of the Year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. July 1st, The Fruits of the Spirit. Archbishop Oliver Plunkett, 1681. Of a noble Irish family, he went to Rome, lived for many years with the priests of San Hiraloma de la Carita, and was appointed by Clement IX to the See of Armagh. There he found himself obliged to pass censors on certain scandalous livers in his flock, among them priests and religious. In revenge, they took advantage of the Otis plot to denounce the archbishop as conspiring to raise 70,000 Irish with the help of French troops to destroy the Protestant religion. In his defense, he said he lived in a little thatched house with one servant on 60 pounds a year and never had thought of such a design. Still, with the direct evidence against him, he was condemned. In Newgate, his life was one of continual prayer. He fasted usually three or four days a week on bread only. His favorite devotion was sentences from Holy Scripture, the divine office, and the missal, and he dwelt on these under the Holy Spirit's guidance. Outwardly, there appeared no sign of anguish or fear, but a sweet and holy recollection, a gentle courtesy and unfailing cheerfulness, devoting his fitness for the sacrifice and ripeness for heaven. His very presence kindled in men's hearts a desire to suffer for Christ.